Now before we head over to 3D layout space, there are a couple of little things to clean up over here and that is connection point designation for these push buttons. So let's go to project data, devices navigator and let's assign those connection point designations. This is in the TOL for the S1 and 2 and 4. The S1. This is a difference in the function definition. So in the part number, this is defined as a normally closed auxiliary contact and V defined it as a push button, normally close contact. So when I place, that is when I assign, when I try to assign this S1 to this, it's gonna say does not match the selected function, function definitions. So, so to solve this, you could do basically, to have two options. The first one is to change the function definition of this one and to say that this is a auxiliary contact or to change this one in the part number, official part number from Siemens and call it a push button. The more convenient way is to adapt ourselves so the things we did in our schematics we're gonna just change that one. So for this push button, I'm going to go in the schematics and for the symbol function data, I'm going to say over here, function data logic. So the symbol, the graphical representation stays like this, but the uh, logic, we're going to change the logic to corresponds to this and normally close auxiliary contact call contacts and then normally closed two connection points and then this one we will now hit on ok you're gonna see over here the effect and let's hit ok So normally close the auxiliary contact and now further let's assign since we now have the same function definition auxiliary contact here and here and let's assign. So they are now together which now makes sense. This is important also later on for the wiring in 3D to have the schematics clear. We're gonna do that, the same thing for this one, S2. So the properties, in this case also auxiliary contact but normally open. Okay. And let's assign. So we also have the connection point designation. And the last thing is to do it also for the S4 over here. Logic is going to be the same one as the S1, so normally close to connection points auxiliary contact and OK and now one more time to assign and that's it now we are ready to go to our 3D layout space and start to wire some things we're gonna start with that in the next video